Hey guys, it's Grim and welcome back to the channel. Yeah guys, so uh, the first uh, episode of my uh, Elden Ring series. Now you actually might be watching this um, by the time I upload a bigger video where I probably call it like I'm only upgrading uh, Arcane or Intelligence or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the first episode of my playthrough um, on Elden Ring. I'm going to be only using Arcane and Intelligence as much as I can. Um, obviously, you know, I'll continue to level up Vigor and Mind and things like that. Uh, but I mainly want to use Arcane and Intelligence. This is going to be the first episode, and if you're watching the uh, the longer video, this is going to be just all the highlights from uh, my build using only Arcane and Intelligence. So yeah, guys, let's just get straight to it. Um, first thing I want to mention is that uh, I have around, like, I think 100, 170, 180 hours total on Elden Ring so far. Um, this uh, character or build um, that I'm on right now is around um, 120 hours and then I also have a separate uh, character that has around 60 70 hours um, but this is the character that I've done the most stuff in um, I'm just in the TLC uh, area right now just because it just recently released actually like um, I think around a week ago um, by the time I'm making this uh, video right now but in terms of the main story and the main bosses that I still have to do on this account um, I still got to do a uh, horror Lou or a Godfrey basically um, so I'm still stuck on him right now. Uh, maybe I'll do some streams uh, shortly after this uh, video. The first episode is made um, where I try to take him down. Um, but during this playthrough, I kind of just used uh, mostly just holy stuff. I have a few things that I've also been using, like the Blasphemous Blade. I have that plus nine. Uh, Dover's Great Sword. I got the Sword of Light. That was really, really cool to get as well. And if you guys don't know what that looks like, it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I've just been using mostly like a holy build. Usually I'll do the Golden Vow and stuff like that. Um, I have this thing right here. This is a different type of one that I thought was pretty cool. And yeah, so basically I would just do the... Um, whatchamacallit, the golden bow, and then I would hit him, you know, with this, whoever I'm going against, but I've used a bunch of stuff during this, uh, this entire playthrough uh, that I have the most time in. I'm really, really excited to do a new playthrough, especially use Arcane, because I just have seen some things that are really, really cool um, in the game that, you know, scale with Arcane, so I'm really, really excited to try some of those things out, as well as, you know, using some of those sorceries with the intelligence that we're also going to be using with our build so yeah guys I'm really really excited here um, there's gonna be a lot more in the future and so uh, so yeah I think we should just get straight into it and make a uh, new character all right so we're gonna choose our character base right here I just have to get all that stuff out of the way um, just because I just wanted to inform you guys what's going on obviously I've played the game before so just wanted to get that uh, through to you guys and make sure all is clear there but yeah, we got a few options here now with the character base. Okay, so the bandit starts with uh, 14 arcane. I think the best overall would be actually the astrologer in terms of the most uh, points split between intelligence and arcane, I think. So So I think we're going to go astrologer here. Now we can get a keepsake. Now, I've always been told that the golden seed is always very good for the keepsake, which makes sense. You know, those were upgrade your flasks. I think we're going to just go for the seed. I think the seed is always just a good play. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here we are. Starting area once again. Let's get this thing. I can't believe the view they give you right here. This is really, really cool. You know, first thing in the game that you do. Oh, uh, but... See if we could land some more of pebbles out of them. Actually does pretty good damage, I'm surprised. Except when he blocks right there. Ooh. There it is. Alright, so we're at the part of the Cave of Knowledge right now. I'm just gonna jump down here and do this real quick. Right, so there he is. Soldier Godric. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah, we did big damage on him. No chance. I forgot what this gives you, this area. If you put the uh, Stone Sword key here. Alright, we officially made it to Limgrave. Alright, let's get this uh, race right here. Let's talk to this dude, the homie. So uh, first things first here, I think we're just gonna move towards the north, try to go over here. All right, nice, we got the grace. All right, so what we actually need to get from you is we actually need to buy a crafting kit. Ooh, I'm already dead. <laughs> Damn, I thought I could solo this guy, I just got fucked up. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Alright. Took him down, took him down. Pick this up as well. Alright, now that we've cleared out this uh this village right here, this kind of this ruin area, we're just gonna probably go up to the gate front, kinda explore that way, kinda, you know, go the way we're supposed to go and all that. We got this map right here, that's nice as well. Just gotta finish a few of these guys. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, content that I really want to um, make sure you guys are really tuned in to see in the future because there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff on the horizon that I'm about to be doing. Obviously, this is the first uh, kind of video I'm doing with the new setup. If you guys saw my community post on that and all the crazy stuff going on. Okay, I have like all of these guys on me right now, so let's maybe try the art. Uh, if I, I really want to kill all these guys because I feel like it's all going to drop a good amount of runes. And then maybe we can get a level up. I'm not sure how much it takes to level up right now, though, so that's kind of thing I'm concerning. But Ark seems to do well against the guys. All right, All right we just did really well there. Oh, we got a sword from that guy. What did this guy drop to? Oh, so we'll come up here, get this grace. We're gonna start moving forward. So I had a, a question for you guys. I want you to comment it down below in the comment section. Um, just comment some things that are early game that use arcane. Uh, intelligence, maybe some sorceries. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, comment down below any type of uh, arcane or intelligence things I should be, uh, look out for early in the game. Like maybe some weapons, some incantations, or sorceries. Anything that, you know, kind of scales with arcane and intelligence. Definitely let me know in the comment section uh, where that stuff is and uh, if I should get it or not. Okay, let's take care of this guy right now. He might drop a lot of runes as well. Oh, we're doing some damage to him. Not as much as I'd hope, but hey, it's damage. Oh my god. Our runes. So let us see. Cutscene. Forgot about this. <laughs> but you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Hate to see it, man. We got the uh, ports from that as well. Let's see how much a level up is right now. We'll get bigger to 10 just because that looks nice. All right, let's give this guy a second try. He's going to jump uh, down from there. Uh, completely forgot about it when I was... Bring him out here. Oh, shit. He's bringing out the sword. I never really think I've killed this guy on foot, so I never really saw his kind of moveset like that, but yeah, let's put up Arcane one. Alright, so level up for the third time now. I think we'll put one more into Vigor. Use the health potion and get the hell out of here. Go ahead and see if I can do that real quick. Uh, I can revive me. Oh my god. It's right there. Ooh, nice golden seed. Dogs just summoned out of the sky. Like, what the fuck? I think if you talk to this uh, this lady Thank right here, mean, she I'm actually gives you a jellyfish summon. Talk to her three times in a row. Holy fucking shit! Why are these guys following me? Okay, add another charge to the flask. I'm just sneaking up behind these guys now. I think I'm gonna take them out just so I can get some uh, more runes here. Got a brass shield. That's nice. Let's get this thing. Probably some type of ash of war, I'd imagine. It's running away from me, though. Oh, I'm gonna run into guys now. Oh, got it, though. Oh, wild strikes. Run, 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 though. Run, run, run. Uh, we just took out the guys all over here. And now I think we have the, uh, yep, this is it. Uh, maybe we'll give it a try. Uh, I think we should get the jellyfish summoned from the girl, because I don't think we talked. Uh, to her because we got fucking interrupted by a uh, dog, unfortunately. I think if we talk to her enough, yeah, there it is. Are we able to use the spirit jellyfish asses now? If we have that guy with us? Hmm. I haven't tried, so... Hopefully we are, but if we're not, then that kind of sucks. But we still got the sorcerer with us. This motherfucker. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. I think we all remember that first time when we fought this motherfucker and we were just new players to Elden Ring and this is kind of the first make or break it moment where you're kind of like, oh shit, like I gotta clutch up to fucking take out these guys or like, 
you were just really going through it to try to beat this guy. But hey, a lot of us, I'm probably sure, you know, most of us watching obviously got through this with this guy. So, uh, you know, just the first of many in our Elden Ring careers. But yeah, just such a really cool boss for the first one. And definitely one of those, they definitely intentionally made it pretty strong, you know, to see if you can get through it or not. Oh, so we can't do the uh, spirit like fish asses I see right there bottom one unfortunately but um, we'll see a Rogier will have at him I guess. Okay so we do absolutely no damage with our sword on him. Let's see how much damage we do uh our next level here. Alright, not actually terrible. The sword sword can stay alive and we can actually get this off. Oh we stacked? Wow 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 can I get to him? Oh shit couldn't get to him in time. It's already second phase though. First try. Alright, the sorcerer's about to die. Margaret's like, uh, like what? Is that 35, 40% HP? I have no more class though, so I don't think this is gonna be the wrong boy, but try. Oh shit. Ah. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it right there, first try. Uh, but I think if I bring like one more mana potion, maybe I'll even bring two more. I think we got this guy's second try. All right, so it looks like she's gonna take us to the, the round table home first, and then we'll come back, give Margaret a second try, see if we could beat him, and then if we do end up beating him, then uh, then we'll probably level up a bunch, probably put some more stuff into Arcane, and then maybe we'll call it an episode, I don't know. I kinda wanna have something maybe like in my left hand or right hand, an Arcane weapon, and then in the other hand, I'll have like a staff or something, so I could use the sorceries, and I could also have the Arcane weapon that has some type of Ash of War. That's that's kind of what I mainly want to go for and use for this uh, for this build. We could actually upgrade the Astrologer's uh, staff here, and actually goes to a B scaling and intelligence. So we might have to do that. Uh, we actually only have um, we need one more uh, Smithing Stone right there, and then uh, I guess we could upgrade that, and that'll be nice to have. I forgot you could even upgrade the staffs like that. That is really crazy with the Smithing Stones. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go back now to the uh, Castle Ward Tunnel. All right, so we got our sorcerer friend here for the, uh, the second try on Margaret right here. Uh, I'm coming in with three uh, red flasks right now and then uh, three blue ones. Uh, we're just gonna see how it is. We're gonna see, uh, I think that should be enough with the mana in order to take him down, but uh, really need the sorcerer to also clutch up. All right now, all right now. We should stack him pretty soon. I think we got an early stagger when I hit him with enough of these uh, pebbles right here. So uh, he should be able to stagger uh, in the near future. Okay, he's going second phase already. Nice right, sorcerer, the sorcerer's cooking up, come on. Oh, he's died. Yeah. Alright. with that a little bit. Oh my god. Damn. Holy shit, that was a crazy combo. God damn. Alright. Well, we almost got him. Second try, but I think I'm gonna bring one more mana flask. One more, and then it'll just be just right. And I think we'll be able to take him out uh, third time's a charm. Alright, so now we have four mana flasks. I well, should be able to get it done now. We'll summon the sorcerer. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Too 
Yep. They're all swimming. Come on, Switzer. This has got to be it, right? Alright, we need a sword thrift to hit him right now. Come on, what's he doing? Use your sword! We're in such a bad spot. Oh my god, we used to roll off. Here we go, Torcher. That's what I want you doing. That's what I want you doing. Let's go. We got it done. Three tries, baby. Third time for charm. Let's get it. Ooh, we got the tiles pouch too. I forgot he drops that. Set. Well, we dropped 9k ruin, it's pretty good. That, that should give us like what? Somewhere between 5 to 10 levels, maybe? Probably around 5 or 6. Oh wow, so it actually gives us 7, which is actually pretty good. So uh, I'm thinking we put up. Yeah, we'll have we'll have a uh, Vigor and Arcane at 14. I like the sound of that. Uh, that looks good right there. We're level 16 now. Um, I probably want to do some caves before I go through more stuff and go to Godric and all that stuff. Um, so maybe we'll do some of these caves. I see a cave right there. There's like this thing right here, which I forgot what that is. Uh, there's something over here as well. Maybe it's a cave. Um, we also got to kill that dragon probably in episode two, the one that uh, you get a bunch of runes from. I think it's in the, up here in the Lonely of the Lakes. I'm not actually too, uh, quite sure where it is. Maybe it's in Caleb. Maybe I'll do all the bosses, all the main bosses, and then all the, the bosses in the DLC as well. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about it because Depending on how the how good the arcane intelligence is, I'm definitely uh, definitely might uh, do it. Uh, but yeah, I think we're actually gonna leave it off uh, for episode one, guys. We took down Margit in the third try. And we also got uh, a few nice things. We got a nice uh, gauntlet right here. Um, we definitely gotta be on the lookout for arcane weapons and stuff like that, and intelligence uh, sorceries. So I uh, definitely don't. Uh, hesitate to comment down below uh, what kind of uh, early game arcane or intelligence stuff I should get. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, first episode of the Arcane Intelligence uh, playthrough. Couldn't be more thankful uh, for you guys supporting the channel uh, and all that good stuff. So uh, definitely like and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this and more uh, videos for the playthrough. Um, definitely looking forward to uh, continuing the playthrough and seeing how good the, uh, the Arcane Intelligence is together as a build. Uh, but yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and Grim out.